Our Mr. Perfect Ayano Koji Kiyotaka is finally back with bangers. Hey, I'm Thunder Poke, and today we will discuss about Classroom of the Elite, Season 3, Episode 1. So, for all the students, new special test is so difficult that even the likes of the protagonist deem it to get out of hand at a certain point. After learning about the exam, Kiyotaka deduced that saving his peers from what was coming for them would be challenging. On the other hand, Manabu has asked Kiyotaka to join him in defeating Nagumo Miyabi, adding an intriguing layer of complexity. Classroom of the Elite Season 3 Episode 1 has set the stage for a riveting series of events unfolding as alliances and conflicts amidst the mixed training camp take center stage. Well, Episode 1 kicked off with Class 1C and formerly Class 1D learning about the details of the mixed training camp, a special test that will be taken at a secret facility far from the school. As Chabashira reiterated to everyone, the test will be a group-based training exam that focuses on the mental development of the students of ANHS. The penalties stated in the exam were, if the leader of a small group falls below a set threshold, they will be expelled and have the option to choose another group member for joint expulsion. Harada wanted Suzume to be the central consultant for girls, but given she didn't count herself a good fit for the role, she requested Kushida to take on the role of sub-leader. Due to the complex structure of the exam, Kiyotaka presumed that things would probably get out of hand, and he might not be of any help to save his peers from the upcoming challenges. After reaching the location, students gathered around Manabu and Nagumo, as the latter challenged the former to win the mixed training camp. Manabu accepted the challenge without a second thought because his pride was at stake. During lunchtime, Suzun wanted Kushida to be a part of the team. However, the latter believed that the former forcibly added her to the team to keep an eye on her. Suzume tried to convince Kushida that she wouldn't be revealing her past to anyone, but regardless, the latter was adamant about not trusting her. After Suzume stated that she should be grateful for the position she was being entrusted with, Kushida was enraged, as he didn't like being talked down. In the end, Kushida agreed to play along, but on one condition, they would never go to see eye to eye about this until one of them got expelled from the school. After Kushida left, Suzun was baffled by how she couldn't be more like her elder brother. After running into Kiyotaka, Sakayanagi declared that, for the time being, she would suspend her animosity towards him and would focus on destroying Class 1B. Sakayangi further revealed that she observed a tight-knit bond among the students of Class 1B, which inarguably makes them the most powerful sections in the school. Given that, a little trust goes a long way, the bonds between the students of Class 1B were strengthened over time and could potentially prove to be a major threat to Class 1A. Sakayanagi unveiled that she knew about Kiyotaka using Ichino's as a literal bank by stashing all his points in her account. Sakayanagi questioned Kiyotaka if he was willing to keep his trust in Ichino's. To which he responded by stating that Ichino's has no use for the points. Nevertheless, Sakayanagi persisted in trying to influence him, insinuating that people possess dual sides, subtly hinting that Ichino's might betray him. Later, Kiyotaka asked Karuizawa to spy on some people who could later become thorns in their path. Since Manabu helped Kiyotaka by dealing with the aftermath of his conflict with Ryuin, he wanted him to help Suzun get into the student council. For that, he asked him to defeat Nagumo Miyabi. Given that Kiyotaka had no clue about what Manabu was up to, how he thought, and who his allies were, he was a bit skeptical about whether he could help. Stating that he won't be alone in this task, Manabu introduced Akuto Kirayama from Class 2B, the Vice President of the Student Council, spying on Nagumo to gather intel from Manabu. Akuto was doubtful of Kiyotaka's ability, but since he respected Manabu's decision, he decided to play along. Akuto revealed that Nagumo was a megalomaniac, utilizing his powers to do as he pleased. He further stated that Nagumo being in power could result in massive expulsions next year, Manabu affirmed that he could deal with Nagumo in their little competition but asked Kiyotaka to focus on destroying him before things could turn ugly. Episode 1, promptly initiated the mind games, betrayal, and conflict, efficiently keeping the fans on the edge of their seats. It was indeed surprising to see Kiyotaka being uncertain about whether he could save his peers or not, given his skills and intellect often proved to help others in situations where escape seemed impossible. Classroom of the Elite Season 3 Episode 1 has also revealed that the coming episodes will also extensively focus on Manabu Horikita, delving into his skills and abilities and promising an in-depth exploration of his character. Suzun will focus on overseeing Kushida's activities as she could potentially destroy everything they built. 
the upcoming episodes elevate the strategic dynamics to a whole new level, introducing twists and challenges that will captivate viewers and heighten the intrigue surrounding the storyline. Well, that's it for today. Now before leaving this video, please make sure to subscribe Thunderpoke. Thank you.